Welcome back to our financial education video series where you'll find tips and tricks throughout the year on how to be more financially healthy. If you're a parent, you may have heard about the advanced child tax credit payments that will start arriving this month. Since it is such a significant change, we wanted to give you an idea of who qualifies, what has changed, and whether or not you should expect to start receiving those monthly payments. First, let's talk about who qualifies for the child tax credit. A family is eligible to receive the 2021 tax credit for each child that will be under the age of 18 until January 1st, 2022 that they claim on their tax return. How much a family qualifies for depends on the age of the child. For each kiddo who will be under the age of six, a family receives $3,600. For each kiddo between the ages of six and 17, a qualifying family receives $3,000. The credits can be lower for families who are high income earners, so check out the eligibility information in the description of this video to see if you're eligible for the credit. Now let's talk about what has changed with the child tax credit for this year. For 2021 only, half of the child tax credit will be paid out in monthly payments, which start on July 15th and will end on December 15th. One important point is that these payments are not an addition to what you would normally qualify for. They are an advance on what you would usually get after you filed your tax return. For example, I have an 11 month old daughter, so we qualify for the $3,600 tax credit. We received our first payment of $300 in July and will get $300 each month until December 15th. When we file our 2021 taxes, we'll receive the remaining 1,800, half of the 3,600, which is the other half of our credit. You can check to see if you are enrolled to receive the advance payments, opt out of receiving them, and provide or update your bank account information by going to the IRS Child Tax Credit Update Portal. Families who qualify based on their 2020 tax return will automatically be enrolled for these monthly payments. So if you want to opt out, you have to do that through this IRS portal. And the link for the portal is listed in the description of this video. And if you aren't sure where to start, this is the first place you should go. It has tons of really helpful information. One of the big things to keep in mind is that if you receive these monthly payments and you file your 2021 taxes and the IRS determines you are not eligible for some or all of the credit, you may have to repay some of that money. So check on your eligibility and be certain that you are good to go. We covered a whole lot today and please keep in mind that we are not tax professionals and we would recommend that you connect with an accountant to get advice specific for your situation. This video is for informational purposes only. Thank you for tuning in to today's video. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Instagram and Facebook to get all of our tips on how to be more financially healthy. We'll catch you next time.